2012, it felt like the rainiest summer since the beginning of time. Those who can stay indoors. For Professor Simmer of the Meteorological Institute of Bonn University, however, this beastly weather offers ideal conditions for his research. One goal of the TR32 is to improve weather forecasts and climate models. An important element in weather and climate is water, transfer of water, the water cycle and therefore we need rain. We need to know where it is, how much of it falls, how it is generated. And it's exactly this information that a radar can provide. It has now been four years since the rain radar was installed on the roof of the students' dormitory of dem Hügel. The modern technology and proximity to the identical radar of the research network Tereno in Jülich has many advantages for the TR32. It makes it possible to compare both radars easily. The second advantage is that this radar is quite close to our radar, just 40 kilometers. Thus we have a large area of overlap. And that's what allows us to measure known uncertainties in the radar quantitatively and afterwards when we derive new methods show that we really improved. The combination of two such closely spaced radars is unique. Therefore, Professor Alexander Rischkov of the US American National Severe Storms Laboratory visits Bonn again this year. Together with the radar scientists from the region, he tries to generate new exciting knowledge about determination and development of precipitation. This uh, uh, dual polarization weather radar transmits and receives um, uh, electromagnetic waves of two orthogonal polarization, horizontal and vertical. Okay, whereas the old radars uh, were able to transmit and receive only wave of one polarization. That means that we can get information about particle shape their orientation and uh, in addition uh, uh, the polarimetric radar can look so to say inside the particle and find out what is phase composition and also to uh, uh, get insight into microphysical processes uh, that, uh, uh, that lead to formation of the cloud and formation of precipitation. All these data are then sent to Dr. Silke Trömel. She explores how it actually comes to precipitation. Here at the Hans Ertel Centrum for Weather Research, a key issue is to create a three-dimensional radar composite. All the radars of the German Weather Service, as well as the two radars here in Bonn and in Jülich, not only capture the precipitation at ground level, but also at higher elevations, several kilometers above the ground. We then want to combine these local three-dimensional images of the radar sites through Germany in one three-dimensional composite. If you include time as a dimension, this leads to a complete four-dimensional observation of the precipitation systems in Germany. For the region around Jülich and Bonn, that looks like this. But even when the radar researchers are delighted by rain, sunshine also has its advantages. Oh, the look is gorgeous. I really enjoy this area and especially this particular place. It's an amazing look. Which one can only agree with.